Waking up every morning and working so close to nature is really a blessing. On the surface, nature looks really uncomplicated, but once you break the surface, you find that it's really complex. And this is where you realize that the human role in wine's journey from the vineyard to the bottle is really small. And it's this that really keeps me humble. A wine should always tell a story of a place and its people. For this, you need a few important components. Most importantly, you need a place, a vineyard, and the transfer of energy from the vineyard to the soil, the sun, the clouds, the rain. But you also need people that brings passion, relationships, loyalty, dedication, friendship, laughter. And when you blend all these components together in the right amounts, you create a wine that's definitely worth drinking. At Maras, we focus on two specific areas, the Swartland and the Kniskloor. In the Swartland, I work with two specific parcels, the Paderberg, which is a granite mountain situated between Paul and Malmesbury in the Western Cape province of South Africa. On the ridges we find a lot of exposed granite rock or boulders and in the valley more decomposed granite. It's in these valleys that most of these vineyards are planted. The soils are quite deep, the roots of these dryland vineyards are able to dig deep with their roots for moisture and it's this that keeps them going through a long and warm growing season. Shinas produced from these soils are lean, tight and show a lot of minerality. About 15 k's from Paderberg you find Kastilburg. Once you cross over Bortmaskloof Pass, the whole valley opens in front of you with the most amazing views of vineyards and olive trees. The soil composition of Kastilburg is mostly schist soils, which is made up of layers of minerals that can easily flake off. Wines produced from these soils are well structured, have good acidity and form the backbone of any blend. Pikeniuskloof is all about the altitude. When you drive out of the Swartland into Pikeniuskloof, the altitude changes from about 200 meters above sea level to about 900 meters above sea level. Daytime temperatures are warm like the Swartland, but the evenings cool down significantly due to the altitude and proximity to the west coast that brings a lot of Atlantic cool breeze onto the mountain. The cooler evenings ensure longer ripening times, and we pick Pikeniuskloof parcels about two weeks later than we do the Swartland. These dryland bush wines live in sandstone and granite soils, bringing great purity of fruit and fine texture to the wines. Working with older vineyards is magical. Apart from giving small, concentrated hills, they have spent so much time understanding the area they live in that they have a great ability to adapt to the changing weather and rainfall patterns, and they'll still be able to ripen grapes in very difficult conditions. On all our back labels, you find the phrase a handful grass, which means a handful of soil or gravel. This symbolizes our commitment to work the land and emphasizes that great wines are made in the vineyard and not in the cellar. It comes from a poem written by Sir Louis Leipold where he says that yesterday he was a poor man but today is rich. Not because of money but because of memories. For me wine sealed in a bottle has no value. It needs to be opened, shared with friends, family, loved ones to really fulfill its purpose. So go out, drink wine and create memories because it's these memories that really last.